I'd say it's a clever move by themselves, but of course now Sheffield United's profile is huge, so it fits the bill to satisfy Australia, the Far East, UK and beyond. Mm. What's this worth to Sheffield United then? Oh, it's beyond the amount of the sponsorship deal itself, you know, which is obviously um, a record for us, far in excess of one we've ever done before because it's obviously in the millions mm. but uh, it's where it leads to I think it attracts us to other sponsors for different things whether it's for ladies football academy football the stadium itself maybe we can get a sponsor to be sponsored the world's iconic oldest stadium and is that in the in the planning now do you know you've taken the words out of my mouth Andy <laughs> it's something is that be, something to be taught no, not, not at the moment. I mean, you know, we need breathing space. But you can see the potential because we're in the Premier League. If you sell it, if you try to sell naming rights when you're in League One or the Championship, it's a world away. It's sad but true in many respects, but that's the way football's changed. And this lump, this money, does Sheffield United get that all at once over the period of the, the three years or it, it, three year deal? Well, it's a deal that's geared to Premiership as well. So, yes, it gets it. Gets it mo most of it is played front end. There's no ifs or buts about it. And it increases um, over the three years. It goes up every season. So should the worst happen and Sheffield United get relegated, what happens then? We don't talk that at all, do we? I mean, I mean it is bizarre that in football generally, in the football league, you only think of promotion and then going up as a league to get promotion again. Mm. Actually, we enter the Premier League and you can't avoid it. Your first objective is to avoid relegation. It wasn't the case when the Premier League was formed, but it is now. So it's been an interesting season for us, but you'd put your money on a staying up, wouldn't you? Well, yes, I would actually. Twelve years has passed between now and uh, between then and now. From purely and simply within the two or three months it's been since Sheffield United got promoted, how different is the Premier League in your mm. your experience to, to what it was then? Yeah, I mean, profile-wise, it's yeah. it's uh, unbelievably different. Whilst you know Premier League football was always uh, broadcast every Sunday, so to speak, it's every day of the week. Mm. Um, Player-wise, yes, of course, the influx of foreign players in the main into the uh, Premier League, influx of foreign managers. We'll probably stick to our knitting very much here at Sheffield United, but we know we've what, got we, what we've got to do in terms of the playing profile to succeed in, in the Premier League. Every fan will want me to ask that, does this massive deal, this massive sponsorship deal, the biggest you've ever had, will that benefit Chris? Oh, definitely, yeah. I mean, in terms of players, sorry, that was a basic question, but in terms of well, in players you can sign? Look, at the, while, while Sheffield United is a football club that's been around forever, the hub of a football club is its first team. You can't deny that. We're all very, very conscious of it. Mm. And we want to succeed in the Premier League. That means we've got to go out shopping and try and get new recruits in that will do the trick for us. Are we going to be stupid? No, because you've seen the plight of so many clubs who have been stupid. It's got to be done in a in a semi-self-sustainable manner, yeah, we'll be there. Yeah, how difficult has it been this summer in the last 12 months to make sure, and he said it himself, he's gone on record saying himself, to keep what's been going on in court away from Chris so that the, the ship runs smoothly? I think it's been done pretty well between the owners. Yes, we're feuding, and that can't be denied, but it, when it's come to football matters, we've got heads together to ensure that the first team is looked after, that any moves, whether it's for players, or other contracts for managers and assistants, etc., is dealt with pretty efficiently. Mm. Not perfect, but 